Hi everybody and welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. I'm Andrew and today we play some more Pathfinder. In this episode, we need to be very careful. The battle will be very difficult. We have to defend the Defender's Heart from the Strike of the Demons. We will start our... We will start just uh, sleeping and getting ready. I would like to see if I can uh, if I can actually cook something else, but it seems that I cannot select anything here, which is okay. About scroll scribing, can I do anything here? Not yet. So I think I will just begin resting. We will need a day of fourteen hey, hours to rest. You eat the last but after and that, we will have our party at its full potential, and we Whereas have to uh, really fight an extremely bolting. difficult fight against demons that will try to storm the base from every side. So, now probably someone will tell us that they're attacking. Not yet, really. Then we are going to speak. Start the battle. I'm ready to defend this place. Ayomedi, help us all. This battle won't be easy. So, the party is going to be um, Arik, Sela, Lan, Ember, Volif, and Nenio. For the time being, uh, Camellia will not join. We will pick Camellia then for uh, the next mission when we'll try to. Yeah, we'll do a mission for her. And here we go. Here we go. Every single door of the tavern is attacked. And the cultists and a lot of demonic creatures will try to storm in. It's going to be very, very difficult. Kill the arsonist. This is the first mission. Because the arsonist with some potions will do whatever they can. Um in order to burn the place. So, Ember. We could stay behind the line and wait till they attack or just be uh, just attack ourselves. I think that the first thing that we have to do, we have to get rid of those. So, I'm going to move Ember just out of here and see if she can use a slumber on one of those. I think she's not able to do that, right? No, not really. It's gonna be Arik's turn. Where's the guard? Arik needs to saddle up on Crimson. And now it's Crimson and Arik. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, I am going to use the spell on, on my boy. And the boy now has Plus one enhancement bonus when he tries tries to bite. Okay, Lan. We have an Earthit warrior. We need to uh, attack the fighters. We need to attack the arsonists, but I don't see them yet. Here we have other fighters. Okay, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to use then the perfect strike and start striking. Wow. 40 damage. <laughs> he literally exploded. Land is really, really strong. Really, don't mess with him. The problem is that I put Ember in the first line and this is going to be a big problem. This is going to be a disaster if I don't do anything. That's why uh, Yolif has to go... Wolif has to go and support... So three fighters facing our poor little child. Sela is going to bless her weapon before she starts. Then she moves us in this direction. While we leave the other fighters on the walls, on the on the roofs, dealing with the guards, we need to focus with the group um, every time. So now if I throw here. The fireball, I might uh, have the chance to damage. I can't do it, it's too far away, right? Okay. 
So let's use the mirror image and let's move. The mirror image will stay for four minutes, so that's gonna be good. Okay, Ember. Now, as you can see, she would just trigger a ton of uh, attack of opportunity. Uh, for this reason, I'm not going to do anything in this turn. We need to kill those three before they can attack Ember. And now Crimson, uh, that, that's, that's exactly the moment where you can we can uh, come out and play. One and two. Well done, well done. Now it's Lance's turn. Can throw two arrows. Fantastic. So now Ember is just exposed to one enemy, which is going to strike now, but I don't know if he will try to kill Ember. Wolif or uh, Crimson and Arik. Of course, he attacks Ember. But now Wolif can finish him off. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. This side has been defeated, and now we can use the time that we have to um, reconsolidate. I mean, there are some em enemies here on the walls. Uh, but I don't want my party to go on the walls. Actually, I want Sela to go here on the first line, uh, if anyone else enters on this side. And Neno could use a Blinding Ray. This is not... The Blinding Ray is uh, uh, an... Ah, this is a... Spell-like ability. Standard action, you can fire a Shimmer Ring to any four, and uh, you can really make him blind. Okay. Nice to know. We are going to uh, wear the wage, uh, armor, the mage armor. And I also want to cast the mage armor too. Okay, look at those. Those fighters now triggering a lot of attack of opportunity, by the way, are storming again from the open door. So, as I told you, we need to be careful. Okay. I really like playing um, with this mode. So, uh, this is Ember. Ah, she has major armor. Pity. Pity because I wanted to cast it on her, but... Okay, I'm going to kill those, those fighters without the need of uh, slumber them, so... Let's wear the maze um, armor. I think that I will use Lan to strike the enemies on the walls. Or on the roof, maybe. Uh, and here, now, can I can I charge? Yes, I can. And the charge was was really really powerful. Okay, Lan is not attacking those two guys. Let me see if he can strike any of those. No, they're too far. They're too far. This one here probably. This is this is this is possible, right? But he has to move. Hmm. He has to move. Here we have two fighters close by. Okay, let's get rid of them. Here the Eagle Watch uh, is standing. Okay, it seems that now the other fighters are trying to come down. But our guards are still kind of doing a very good job. Here everything is fine. I'm going to cast on 
what if then the illusion, the mirror image, and I, I move him slightly closer to the stairs, so maybe in the next turn he can take the light crossbow and try to uh, some sneak attack from the distance. Sila uh, should wait for the next enemies on this side. Nenio. Now she can try to strike this guy. No, doesn't work. I'm not going to use the magic of Nenio yet. The fight will be much more difficult later. So, for this reason. A keeper, let's say on a hold, uh, like Sela. We don't have to be to rush. Okay, let's try to slumber this fighter. And it worked. Wonderful. So now we can already bring support on the roof. You have just to do a coup de grass. No, they are just moving inside. Okay, crazy. They died. <laughs> Fine. Um, I think. I think that I could use actually Arik and Crimson because they are so fast that they can jump on the roof right away and attack. Not bad at all. Look how fast they are. That's massive. That's massive. I, I really love them. And now with Solan. Fantastic. Okay, it seems that we almost managed to cope with the first attack, but now the second one is coming. I mean, it, it looks like. Yes! And now we see some dredges, and, and, now, and now things are getting dark. Cultists, dredges, demons, and so on and so on. What if we'll uh, just go on the first line and sneak attack? We have to hold this side of the of the fight. I think I will keep Arik and Crimson on the roof because they can come back very quickly if, it, if this is necessary. While Sila, fighting defensively, tries now to, to stop those bad guys here. We have a Barbarian, a Fighter, a Dresha Cultist, another Cultist... Not, not easy, not easy at all. And also on the roof now, more enemies are coming. Now it's Nenio's turn. Um, I think that this is the right time to, to, to strike with this bolt. Let me see if it works. Yes, it did. Barbarian. Okay, Ember. Ember, Ember, Ember. Um, let me see if this guy can sleep. It does. It can. He can. Okay, Fighter trying to sneak in. Uh, that was stupid. He activated so many <laughs> attack of opportunity that he was killed. Okay. Let's try uh, if it's possible to get back. Not yet, okay. Okay, Lan now should focus on on those bad guys that can actually Make cast one only, okay. What I don't see yet are the alchemists with their uh, fire bombs that will try to burn down the building. That's why we have tavern defenses 12 out of 12, because so far 12 defenses are standing, but it's not so simple. Ah, very bad. Okay, Sela, uh, 
should eat this the, the dredge probably. Nah, come on. What is this? Come on, Seda. Oh, wait a minute. Someone threw some fire, right? Uh, Sedo should do a step back if it was very stupid of her. Let's activate acrobatics and move back. Okay, she's losing a mirror image because she, she got hit. But I am going now to use on this fighter blinding ray. Thank you, Yerobet, for doing literally nothing for the whole time. Really. Much appreciated. Okay, in this case... I think we can start using Coupe de Grasse because the attack of opportunity are not that many. We have two enemies down and uh, one, uh, he is, uh, one is um, blind. Yeah, but we have the other cultist now coming into play, so mm, maybe it will be difficult. I don't know. Not that sure. Not that sure. Let me see what Arik can do. Arik can actually come back. And help this side, but why should he? He can kill here, and he does. He does, my friends. Lan. Okay, let me see. This guy here is quite weak. And now he's dead. Wow. They're using their archers. Impressive. So powerful. Wow. Okay, Coupe de Grasse on the Barbarian. Attack of Opportunity from a Dredge. We don't care. And from a Cultist, we don't care. And Sela. Uh, actually, Sela should just turn and kill this cultist. <laughs> Sela's missing again. I can't believe that. Fighter and fighter, okay. Other, another two fighters are coming in. As you can see, they're strong. And they will not stop so easily. They're not done yet. Not sure what to do with her. I might consider another uh, fire attack, but maybe that's not the right, the right way. I want to see how many hit points does he have. Seven. It is risky. Uh, she's not going to kill him with a uh, magic missile. Maybe I can throw a ray of frost. Okay, three. So, now an arrow could do much better. Okay, a fighter. The, the, all the fighters are going in one single point. Which I find particular because... Ah, they try to eat here a bit. That's what they do. But due to the fact that they blocked the big part of the group, that those are coming one by one and they die. Okay, the Barbarian is awake. Which is a very bad news. Ember. Ember. Um... Ember, who can sleep now? You can sleep, my friend wretch. But he saves. Pity. I think I will bring. Um, I will. I will bring Arik back. Arik needs to help the, uh, his friends because they are keeping well, but not very happy. And Volif is really, really exposed. So. Look at this. Look at this. 
furious, furious, crazy things, really. Unbelievable. Now Lan kills this cultist and then... Or maybe tries to kill the barbarian with four hit points. Maybe better. Yes, well done. Well done. Here we go. Here we have the arsonist. We must block them at any cost. The arsonists are the enemies that will make us lose if we keep them alive too long. So Lan has to hit the arsonist, Nenio has to hit the arsonist, the, the rest of the group uh, should really try to hold the line. But now the line is not that bad. So Volif, uh, can you drink a potion? Nah, you don't have a potion, of course. Distract them for me. Okay. All right, battle on the roof is going quite well. Sela. Mm. I mean, fighting defensively makes no sense if everybody is focusing on Volif, right? That's much better, right? And now Nenio. How many hit points do they have? 34. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, seven more, seven less. Oh, wow, new fighters. Come on. That's bad. How many, how many fighters are there? Crazy. And how many enemies are all um, focusing on that little point? I mean, I think that I could use, and I will use, one pit there. So the pit will swallow them and keep them blocked. One, two. One, two, okay. Because then they are going here, okay. There are not so many. Let me see if this little guy here can sleep. Good night. Oh, he saved. Pity. Because if the arson is sleep, then it's better. <sighs> they're, they're, they're about to destroy the first defense. I need to stop them. Crimson. Uh, attack of opportunity. No, let's just go here. Perfect. Perfect. And now Lan will do the same. Oh, come on, Lan. Good. Very good. Shit. One guard has been killed. Okay, what if can attack without triggering any attack of opportunity? Let's do that. One arsonist is dead. And here we have the third one. He spawned on the roof. Sila can now turn on the defense attack and keep the dredge uh, busy. Nanio. Uses the magic missiles against the other one. Another six damage, not bad. Heal a bit. Heal a bit, doing heal a bit, finally. <laughs> so at the moment we have two arsonists. One on the roof, uh, blocked by the guards. And one blocked by us. Ember. Oh, come on, we'll save again. And new fighters. It's going to be bad. I think they're scripted to go and attack here a bit somehow. Well done, here a bit. Okay, Crimson uh, just um, charges the other arsonist. And actually, he, he managed, the wolf manages to throw him on the ground. That's wonderful. Lan can therefore focus on this other guy here. And he kills it. Good. Very good. 
very, very good. Okay. What if? Cover me, all right. Sneak attack, sneak attack, and it's done. Scylla and uh, now can lay hands on others, in particular on Wolif, because he needs some hit points. And we can stop for a moment, use some magic to recover. I'll remove this obstacle. Wow! <laughs> Nenya with a crossbow. 8 damage and a kill, which is wonderful. It seems that we resisted perfectly, flawlessly to the second round, and the third is just about to come. But we did very well so far. Surrender or okay, also Amber is uh, striking with 10 damage. There is this cultist which is still um, sleeping, but this arsonist, we have to kill him. Okay, two new fighters. The arsonist wakes up and throws. Pity that he didn't trigger an attack of opportunity, as I would have expected, mistakenly. Okay, let's use Arik again, then uh, attack the arsonist again. And then, now it's dead. Now it's dead. Lan. No. No, 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 no. Lan should help us against those fighters. Great. What if uh, gets closer to Ember? Because the next time Ember should heal him. And I would be very happy to throw some uh, Grease on the ground if we see some uh, another attack coming. But I don't know from where they come. I think that at a certain point there will be the boss and the boss fight should come from the other side if I am not wrong. But I don't want to spoiler anything and I can't exactly remember because I played this level a long time ago. Nenio should move and attack uh, so that she's not on the first line. You're irrelevant. Pity. This fighter... Is attacking Lan, okay. Wonderful. Okay, now it's time to heal our friend. Wonderful. And now what if has full energy? Okay. Wait a minute. I think that the second or the third round is starting now. Because as you can see, we have new enemies approaching and entering. And that can be tricky. It's over mortars. Your female resistant resistance is at an end. Oh, not bad, not bad. A shear. All right. Um, I think I will have to stop the episode right now, after half an hour. Uh, I, I, can, I can't actually save the game, so we have to continue, but we will see the continuation of this episode next time. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.